It's a bantamweight title fight between Al Jermaine Sterling and TJ Dillashaw. So here's the number one bantamweight contender making his way to the octagon. Gotta be some nerves here as he gets set to compete for the UFC Bantamweight title. No denying he deserves to be there. He's got the requisite win streak, he's got the finishes, he's got the popularity, the fan support. Now he needs the championship performance. We'll see if he has what it takes to unseat the incumbent. So here he is, the consensus number one Bantamweight in the world, the UFC's reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion, and he's looking to make the walk out of the octagon with all of those same titles. He wants to be mentioned with some of this division's greats, all-time types. Gotta win this fight tonight, make good on another title defense, and then his name creeps into that conversation. the tape for this Bantamweight Championship fight. Dillashaw is three years his senior. Sterling will have a four-inch reach advantage. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. It's Rudy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, four losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, presenting the challenger, TJ Dillashaw. And now he's the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 21 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Uniondale, New York, presenting, waiting, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Al Jermaine Punkmaster Sterling. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the stuff. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Nice kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. It's no 
Nice defense there. Huge block. Just missed with the left there. Nice sneaky head kick. Dillashaw gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Just misses there with the left. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice straight punch. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Dillashaw. Big knee there. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. He'll engage in a single collar tie. And he oh. comes through with a big knee. Oh, the takedown attempt starts to pile up. Here's another one. Unable to secure. Nice loop and punch. Straight right, he misses. Back and forth we go. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left. Switching stances here. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Ooh, blocks the shot. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. So just over 20 total strikes, and counting now have landed for TJ Dillashaw. Takedown defense holds up. 20 seconds to go in round one. Well-placed knee to the body. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Round two is upon us. The human backpack, Aljamain Sterling versus TJ Dillashaw. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Leg kick. Massive head kick. Oh, he lands a huge kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. Kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got a hurt back. So the numbers continue to pile up. 30 total strikes and counting have landed for the great TJ Dillashaw. And the accuracy rate about 42% now against Aljamain Sterling. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Kick blocked by Sterling. Good punch. Beautiful head kick. And just misses with that big right hand. Under two minutes to go. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 
Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. Stuffs that takedown. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. 45 seconds remain in the round. Going orthodox now. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is... Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, no! What a round. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept fighting home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next right, round. Right. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated. Oh, just digs in the bottom. He's shot with every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Total strikes have landed for TJ Dillashaw. And the connection rate pretty good. 44% accuracy tonight against Aljamain Stewart. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Big call punch land. Now we get back to range. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to That'll get That'll do it! Do you believe it? Oh! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 38 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, T.J. Dillashaw. Right, we have a new UFC Bantamweight Champion. This is a moment that every fighter dreams of, and he turns that dream into a reality here tonight. It is the moment that we all wait for, and when it happens, you are almost in shock that it comes to fruition. Tonight, he accomplishes his ultimate goal and becomes a UFC Champion.